Nearly a week after the kidnap of 32 people from the train station in Igwebe, Edo State, only seven victims have been confirmed rescued by security agencies. The recent update, according to the police public relations officer, Edo State Police Command, DSP Chidi Mwabozo. The swiftness with which the police and other security agencies marched action with words in tackling the security breach continues to resound with the rescued victims. However, it is still sad that 25 persons are still missing and perhaps still with their kidnappers. What further strategies are being deployed to rescue the remaining victims? What is the intensity of the devastation? How can the people's confidence in train services be restored? Well, these and more questions will be addressed by our guests in a moment. Welcome to Nigeria Today. I am your carrier, Clinton. Joining me via Zoom to provide more insight is Fidet Okiria, Managing Director, Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC. Thank you for joining us, sir. Good evening, happy new year to Nigeria. To you. And here in the studio with me is Dr. Sani Aliu, Corps Commandant General, Neighborhood Enlightenment and Safety Organization, NESO. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me this year again. Happy New Year, Nigeria. Uh, let's begin with you, Mr. Kiria. Uh, give us an update of what the situation is like as regards uh, the persons held captive. We understand we still have 25 persons held captive and, of course, the injured and the overall situation. Yeah, the case is strictly being handled by the security layer. Uh, people and we are working with them so they are the, the one giving the brief so they are 100% they are in charge and we are following up with them so I don't want to give an information that uh, uh, it's not I think we we'll, we'll wait for either the Edo State Commissioner for Communication or the police to be updating us. So I don't have anything new from what they have. What is the magnitude of destruction at the, uh, the train station? What is the magnitude of destruction at the Igwebe train station? No, no. The destruction at the station. Okay, there was no damage. No damage at the train station. Nobody was hurt. We are there, and they said that we are treating uh, parallelly, but nobody was in injured according to the information we got on uh, on Monday when uh, the Minister of State, myself, and the Railway Commission of Police went there, and we, uh, we had a strategic meeting with the various security agency on Monday. That's Monday. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Doctor Sadi. Now, what is your view of this, uh, uh, of the Igwebe train uh, attack? Well, as usual, it's too, it's too near to be comfort. Too near to be comfortable because uh, of the Kaduna Railway experience that we are just coming out from. Mm -hmm. And all the assurances given by President Muhammad Buhari on the deployment of uh, integrated surveillance security system. We thought that uh, that would have been integrated in every part of the country too, not only Kaduna, Abuja, Lane. And with this uh, Edo web uh, uh, kidnapping has actually sent another 
fear to the minds of passengers. Uh, passengers who become more wary to travel in train and uh, we never expect such thing to happen again. So there is still the need, like we keep insisting, of uh, robot to, to create a relationship uh, in terms of uh, surveillance, in terms of uh, intelligence gathering and so on and so forth. Uh, the Nigerian Railway Corporation re really, really need to enter into a, a robust uh, co uh, uh, collaborations with uh, security agencies, uh, state actors and non-state actors security uh, uh, organizations in order to hip eye to, uh, to come up with a very comfortable uh, profiling system. Because as it is now, it means uh, there was no proper intelligence gathering uh, to the extent that they will move to a railway station, not even hijacking the train on, on the way again, but have the guts to move into a railway station. Where are the police? Where are the civil defense? Where are all these uh, state actor security agencies? Where we are there when people will move into a railway station and move passengers away from railway station and only God knows where they took them to. So it is very disheartening, it is very sad, it still shows the porosity of the Nigerian security system and we still call for these collaborations with, uh, with other uh, security um, organizations that will actually help in profiling uh, 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 intelligence, profiling the activities surrounding the, the, the rail operations in Nigeria because it's too huge, it's a very huge investment. Once you are tackling, trying to tackle Kaduna and now they have gone to Edo, only God knows where they are coming up from. So it is now, it is not something that is supposed to be left tomorrow. It is now the NRC, MD and his own and his team and uh, should actually wake up to the respons their responsibility of ensuring they procure safety and security for their passengers. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kiria, uh, we understand it's been challenging for the corporation in recent time. But after the uh, Abuja Kaduna train attack, one would ask the corporation would have fortified uh, st train stations across the country. Yeah, we, we did that before we started Kaduna Abuja. All the uh, strategy that was put in place for Abuja Kaduna. Okay, how how can we, you know, avert situations like this? There are so many, you know, uh, in trying to protect a moving object, it's like a very big train, railway stations, the train, and all. That's why we uh, we, we, we we were talking about the mm -hmm. integrated surveillance security system. It has mm -hmm. so many faces. Mm -hmm. Face number one. It, and, and levels. It is not something I'm coming come here to say, but they have spaces and levels to the extent that uh, the, 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 that is the base, they have base, control base, where, where, where threat base uh, situation can be analyzed at, at, at all point in time, and where real time uh, situations are observed, are recorded, and so on and so forth. You may, for instance, what happened in the weather shouldn't be a problem if there, if there were cameras, CCTV cameras, and other forms of uh, monitors around, surveillance monitors. It is just to, they will have gotten the whole people that are involved, their movement, their activity, how they came, and how they are going. Okay, uh, I'll, all sorry. Those. All right, I'll stop you right here to hear. Let us hear more from the MD. Mr. Kiria, you are, you are telling us the measures that were put in place before the trade attack. What are these measures? We had a, a, a counter uh, force, uh, civil defense, the community and vigilante group are supposed to be in all our stations and uh, routes. 
That was the arrangement we have with the security agents. And when we got there and we asked, they said the 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 the, the firing power of those who came was more than uh, what they could stand. Uh, we stand, and that is this, this thing they gave to us. But about the camera, we have camera at the station. Uh, and the uh, the Takbek is a special case where uh, power, public light, has not been connected, uh, resulting from uh, uh, Okay, um, Dr. Sani, a recent call was made by the Senate Committee on Land Transport to establish, you know, uh, railway police. How far can this go in averting, uh, you know, attacks like this? Well, uh, indeed, uh, what we used to know as earlier uh, in, in those in early days, in those days when we have the locomotive, mm -hmm. locomotive have their security, uh, security has every locomotive has security. And um, uh, funny enough, they are, you see the wire kind of uh, communication uh, from one station to the other. You can see them rolling around the rail track and so on and so forth. And today technology has gone beyond that and uh, we should be able to have uh, a more effective uh, 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 connectivity in terms of uh, profiling the movement of the train, the activities that goes around the train and so on and so forth. So, to have a, a railway, railways used to, I know from all, from, from time immemorial that there are deployment of police. Railway, railways used to have police stations and the police are strictly working for the Nigerian Railway Corporation. But that is not to say that there is no form, uh, any form of security in the train as it is today. But it's not about having the security in the train, it's about getting to know what will happen before it occur within the train, around the train, in the stations, even on the on the track, while while, tra while, while train is moving, so there are a lot of uh, things to be deployed. It's not only uh, bringing in the, the that fiscal security is part of the arrange should be part of the arrangement, but at least let uh, the, the people at the control and uh, control base to understand that there is some kind of movement that suggests something is going to happen, or some kind of. Um, um, the intelligence report gathered that something is going to happen. For instance, this uh, Kaduna uh, rail, uh, Kaduna Abuja railway hijack. Uh, a lot of us know that it was coming because there's so much, uh, a lot of uh, intelligence report that was flying around that time uh -huh. about the plan to hijack, uh, to attack that train. Mm -hmm. So if we are be able to put all this into proper coordinations, then and you know who to carry your report to, and you know that there's going to be is going to be proactive, uh, attended, attended to, not uh, not uh, reactionary. After it happened, these people start running around. No, things like this are supposed to be proactive in nature. Before it occur, the, the situation has already been taken care of, identified, and been taken care of, so that we can create that uh, proper safety in the minds of Nigerian uh, passengers. Because now uh, earlier. Uh, road users who are seeing rail as a safer mm -hmm. environment for them to travel because of the so much uh, kidnapping okay. and uh, banditry activities going on, on land, on, on, rail, on, on, on the road. Okay. But so. And they now refer back to rail and rail line has become a subject of uh, attack. So I think we, what the government needs to do is actually to sit down and develop a very uh, 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 robust uh, blueprint to make sure that this never occur again. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll take a break now, but don't go away. The discussion continues in a moment. This is NTA News 24, broadcasting from Abuja. You can watch us anywhere, anytime, on the following platforms. Start Times, Channel 101, Greek TV, Channel 703, GSTV, Channel 419, and 
Go TV Channel 46. For more information, log on to our website www.nta.ng or join us on our social media handles Facebook at NTA News 24. For comments, suggestions, and inquiries, send an email to news24 at nta.gov.ng or call us on the following numbers. NTA News 24. News and more news. Welcome back. It is still Nigeria today and we are discussing the update on Edo train attack. My guests are still with me. We appreciate the local hunters and members of the Edo security network as their collaboration assisted in this operation and led to the success recorded in a very short time. Uh, Mr. Okiria, Mr. Okiria, um, in all of this, what are the steps you are taking to ensure safety in our rail, in our rail system? The best way to go out is to collaborate with security uh, uh, we have in the country. Uh, don't forget that Nigerian railway cooperation is all over Nigeria. Starting from Lagos to Kano, Abuja to Kaduna, uh, or Tycot to Maduguri, uh, and, and another standard gate goes to Ebola. For us to be able to do that, there has to be meaningful collaboration in these uh, securities. Uh, the police will have a full command, the commissioner is there, the civil defense will have another command, the commandant is there with about uh, uh, seven uh, deputy uh, commandants. And you have the area commanders, uh, the CID and everything part of us. And we try to uh, uh, give, uh, so what we call it, now, encourage them to do their work. But after the Abuja incident, a, a committee was set up who looked and the best way to go. And they provided some uh, medium term uh, solution and long term solution. And it's the medium term solution that have been implemented that we brought back Abuja Cardinal operations. And that one was extended to the three uh, standard gauge lines. That uh, first uh, physical presence of the uh, security people deploy uh, 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 GPS on the street and have smart radio for communication that you can track to ensure that the staff on, uh, that are supposed to monitor the trade at the particular points yeah, because the smart radios also have a GPS. If the if uh, the staff is not with it, it will be able to track that the, 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 the uh, staff are located to the is not with the, staff, uh, the radio, so that we can have real time monitoring. We have a center who monitor at least the movement of the trade and know their location at a particular time. Those are the why we were looking at uh, the major and the uh, what do you call it now? Satellite uh, uh, control so that uh, you uh, it, it in less about three, four, five kilometers. If there are infringements, you can be able to detect it. That is five kilometer radius. So that is the arrangement we have in place. But uh, I won't say that surprise that the, the, the system will not work because even when we Met with the police, they said they are, they are, they are they, 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 some of them had gone, some of them were not having gone because uh, of the uh, they were not having enough. So, and we today we met again and find a way so that they, 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 we, should, we should not expose our people to unnecessary risk. That's where we are, and they are promised. Like uh, today, the commissioner of police have uh, uh, further reinforced his needs to to the IG in black and white, and the minimum number should have in a station. They complain about armories not be at the station 
and his armory is not what you can build within uh, uh, just uh, to the two of, of an eye. Whereas we suggested that I think there is no place that is with uh, a very polar movement, the, 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 the uh, station closest to them, they can keep their arms there. And when they are going, they, they carry the arms and return back after after their major duties. So we are, we are still uh, uh, see the best way to enhance uh, the safe train. And this, I don't want to say uh, uh, that it's not a real responsibility to provide this safety. Is it like the AKN, that is the weapon uh, station? Or the, the committee suggested that we should fence the station. It's good to fence the station. And uh, how many stations do we have all over Nigeria? There are in thousands. So it, that one costs some money. And our the way we look at it, if we protect the race system and you leave it open to other people, I can tell you, the day we went, that same day took over a kidnap along that route to pass uh, 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 the former uh, uh, state assembly member and the magistrate, a lady, was kidnapped on that route, not at the race station. So we know about the, those kidnapped at the race station because of the situation at the race station. How many people are kidnapped in a day, for instance, in that local government or in, in Nigeria? So we need to, or I don't want to be parochial in my reasoning that when you secure the rail, Nigerians are protected. The Nigerians and Nigeria should be fully, a system should be put in place. Because you cannot say a uh, railway protects your own and you leave the market, you leave the school, you leave the road. So it should be it should be uh, uh, an all encompassing security for the nation, so that and rail will be part of it. We will key in into into that national rail, uh, uh, so that national security uh, process. So I don't believe that we should provide the uh, uh, sectorial uh, security. It's not going to work because at uh, Jakarta, for instance, people that were coming at the time. We are blocking uh, at the road. At Abraka, some people that were leaving the station were blocking the road. But the community and the state police had not deployed uh, uh, armed policemen on that road. Thank you very much, Mr. Okiria. You heard what all he said there, how they are inculcating the community and how they are talking about fencing. How can this uh, be helpful? Yes, you know? uh, uh, yes. you see, uh, that's why I say you must have robust collaboration because if you see what the community and the state government are claiming mm -hmm. that uh, the, uh, the, the vigilant team and, uh, are working for the state and uh, they are helping the state to secure the state, but that uh, the Nigeria Railway Corporation is a federal government investment. And so there is no, uh, they don't have much responsibility to, on, on that, but they, can, they are there to secure the communities. So if this is why I say the Nigeria Railway uh, Corporation, as the MD uh, is here now, should, not, should be the one to approach, if he has not done that before, let him do it. If he has done it, let him enhance upon it meet the community and get, get a robust uh, uh, collaboration with the, the local securities on ground. And again, like you said, uh, it's all about uh, an, uh, Nigerian uh, uh, security wars that we are having now. Indeed, we have always been saying so that uh, uh, the, we, we have the Nigerian government, especially this government, had the opportunity to bring on, in on board another uh, security organization that is we're giving the mandate and responsibility to make sure that terrorism, act of terrorism and banditry is, is that they are poorly to deal with. Thank you very much. And that's Nigeria today. We do hope and pray that the victims of the kidnap um, will regain freedom in the shortest possible time. We must also thank our guests for their insights. Mr. Fidet Ukiria, Managing Director. Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC. Thank you for honoring our invitation. 
And Dr. Sani Aliyu, a security expert, thank you for your time and contributions. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and a very big thank you to you, our viewer, for always being there. And don't forget Nigeria today as weekday at 7.30 p.m. on NTA News 24. You can watch this and other episodes on www.youtube.com slash NTA News 24 Hub. Once again, thank you for being there. I am your carrier, Clinton Sane. Bye for now. <laughs>